about um, a teenage boy who has autism and um, in the play in this and in the book um, it never really specifically says he has autism but like his characteristics people assume that he's somewhere on the spectrum you see I mean that they were very good friends like very very good friends <laughs> Do you mean they were doing sex? Yes, Christopher, that is what I mean. Opening scene is um, starts with him outside of his neighbor's yard, and he sees this dog um, laying dead, and he tries to figure he, his whole like goal in the show um, is trying to figure out who killed the dog. So I think the show is important because autism isn't really a, a subject that gets talked about a ton. Yeah, even though it is something that is very relevant in our society. You would only kill a dog if... A. You hated the dog. <laughs> or B. You're a lunatic. Siobhan is... Uh... Christopher is teacher, but is also like his best friend. Um, he's very honest with Siobhan, and Siobhan helps Christopher a lot through all of the difficult things that he's going through. Father said, You're busy. Nice. So the book is finished. Well, Christopher, if your father tells you you should stop, I think you should stop. But I think you should be very proud of what you've written so far because, well, it's just great! <laughs> it's not a proper book. It's a lot of plot twists, and he goes through a lot of different things throughout the show and a lot of experiences, and y y we as an you as an audience get to kind of experience what it's like to have a lot of like sensory um, overload and like a lot of things that autistic kids go through on a daily basis. Touch my hand. Listen to me, Christopher, you can do it. It's okay.